All right, so now it's time for the handheld systems, and I chose these to go last because they're the they're the systems that I invested the most money on this year. Uh, well, actually, last year, 2009. So I'm going to tell you my PSP games first, then my DS. So my top 2008 game of 2009 for the PSP goes to Final Fantasy VII: Crisis Core. Now. You already know I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy VII. I defeated, I beat it this year, and I got this one because I wanted to play the sequel. I also got Advent Children Complete for Christmas if you saw my holiday video. So it's a great game. I'll be honest with you, I haven't, you know, finished it yet. I haven't. Um, I stopped playing it after a while. Uh, I don't know why. It's, it's nothing wrong with the game itself. It's just that I always get distracted easily, so that's my problem. So yeah. Final Fantasy Crisis Core is number 2008 of 2009. My number 5 pick for 2009 Game of the Year on the PSP would go to Persona, Shin Megami Tensei Persona. Now, you already know I like Persona 4 a lot, however, Persona 4 for the PSP was, you know, originally created for the PlayStation 1. So now they brought it to the PSP to, you know, grab the audience that they missed in the past and, you know, try to update them on how the series started. Now, it's missing a lot of a lot of things, and it's not, you know, as good as Persona 3 or Persona 4. But it's, it's a classic, and that's all it is. It's a great game as well. Check out Persona. My number fourth pick of 2008 Game of the Year would have to go to Dissidia Final Fantasy. Now, there you go. I said it right. I didn't say Final Fantasy Dissidia, so don't bite my head off, you loser. Anyways, uh, Dissidia Final Fantasy is a great fighting game with a lot of RPG elements, but I'll get more onto that later, so. Number four is Dissidia. Number three is Tekken 6 for the PSP. Yeah, go figure. Basically what they did with Dark Resurrection, they brought Tekken to the PSP, and then they brought Tekken 6 to the PSP. Who, who, who can ask for anything more if you're a Tekken fan, right? Number two would go to Little Big Planet. I picked this up. I enjoy it a lot because it's basically Little Big Planet in the palm of your hand on the go on the PSP. And when somebody traded this in at GameStop, I was like, oh god, you people are retarded. So, but retarded in a good way because I ended up buying it used and I saved in the long run. So it's a fantastic game. Awesome, 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 awesome. Now, my number one pick for 2009 Game of the Year for the PS3, uh, PSP is going to go to this game right here. Uh, and that game will be Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars for the PSP. Now, I owned Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars before on the DS. However, it wasn't as good as I would um, hope it would be. I kind of lost interest after a while. I don't know what it was, maybe it was about the DS or something about the DS, I just couldn't grasp. However, when I played it on the PSP, it's so much better for some reason. The graphics, everything, is just so much better on the PSP. And so I love the PSP version a hell of a lot more than I do on the DS version. They're basically the same game, but you know, the PSP version looks better, has a bigger screen. So yeah, that's the version I would get. So that's my 2009 Game of the Year for PSP. Next is the DS. So, 2008 Game of the Year for 2009 would have to be Final Fantasy IV. And this is one of the best Final Fantasies that I've played so far. So, um, so far, I haven't beaten it yet, but it's really, really good. And I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's a fantastic game. Definitely check it out if you get the chance. Really awesome. Now, my number five pick for Nintendo DS Game of the Year 2009 is going to be Kingdom Hearts. 358 over two days. Now, this is probably the Kingdom Hearts game that I've made the most progress in, besides part one, and I'm really enjoying this one a lot more for some reason. I don't know why, maybe it's because it's on the go, it's on the, you know, the DS, but overall, I would say it's a great story so far, great characters, and I love the game. Awesome. My number fourth pick for 2009 DS game would have to be Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Now, this game is absolutely awesome. I do not know what I was missing when I, before I even played this game. And I know there's two previous installments in the series that I've missed, and I really should get into them because this one is just awesome. You get to play as Bowser, 
The only other game that you actually played as Bowser that I remember was Super Paper Mario, and that was a fantastic title. This game is also awesome, so awesome, awesome, awesome. My number three, uh, my number four pick for Game of the Year 2009 for the Nintendo DS is going to be Shin Megami Tensei Double Survivor. Now, it's not a Persona game. It's not a Persona game. However, it doesn't need to be because it's like a mix between a strategy game, like this guy when you move your characters around a grid, and an RPG battle system of Dragon Quest, which is a great mix in my opinion. So it's an awesome game. If you're a big fan of RPGs on the DS, definitely check out Devil Survivor. It's a fantastic RPG. It's got a great story so far. I love the characters. It's a very unique game in my opinion. Then again, most Shin Megami, Shin Megami Tensei games are unique. So yeah, that's my number my number two pick. My number three pick actually. Yeah, that's my number three pick. My number two pick is going to be The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Now, I haven't played any of the previous Zelda games besides Twilight Princess, so I haven't beaten them all, actually, as well. But this one, I vow to beat. And I vow to beat it. And since I love the formula so much in the DS games, and I love the art style of these games, uh, I had to go and uh, pick up, uh, if you probably went my Twitter, uh, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And the Phantom Hourglass is, I heard it's even a, it's a great game in itself. It's, it's definitely, you know, the predecessor to Spirit Tracks. But I haven't played it yet. I think I'll wait until I beat Spirit Tracks first. What do you guys think? Should I, should I play both of them at the same time or should I wait? I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments. Alright. Last but not least, this is my 2009 game of the year for my Nintendo DS and I just I just love this game. This game it's it, I haven't seen this game on anybody's 2009, uh, 2009 game of the years and nobody's mentioned this one not that I know of and it's pretty sad because this is such an awesome game. This is Dragon Quest V Hand of the Heavenly Bride. Now spoiler alert mute me if you can here we go three two one what RPG lets you get married to three to either one of three women and then have and then eventually you get to have children in the, in a game? It, it's such an awesome experience. Unmute me, unmute me. I'm done. No more spoilers. And spoiler alert, you can bring up the volume guys. Alright, so if you guys muted me, this is a fantastic game. It is absolutely awesome. Now I'm not a big fan of the Dragon Quest series as um, since I got into these two, uh, Dragon Quest 4 and Dragon Quest 5, and I am so happy I got this one. I feel so rewarded because the main character you grow with as a, as a small kid at first and then it, as you become an adult, and that is just absolutely incredible. I love it how they do that to game RPGs. And like I said, that previous twist I was telling you about, Hand of the Heavenly Bride, you know, it's really a unique system, and I haven't played an RPG quite like this before that, you know, gives you that emotional attachment of belonging, that sense of belonging, you know, in an RPG before. And this game really makes me feel like the protagonist, that I'm in his shoes. And I, I think it's one of the best RPGs on the DS right now. So if you get the chance, Please check out Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. I know it's becoming a rare title, so if you get the chance, please do pick it up. It is awesome. So, there you have it. Those are my Game of the Years for 2009.